We're gonna see him try to carry into it the might, late game. He still has a smite. He didn't smite early though, so right. he should be able to get it. Getting a bit of that. Yes. All right. Like uh, Dominate did in that game. Kiwi Kid wants to answer. Kiwi Kid's really, yeah, he actually went Flay first as well. He wanted the extra damage. What he said, I've seen this before. Monkey see, monkey do. Link, instant flash right He has there. the chance, though. He instant The smite flash. is coming up. Oh, he'll have it in time. Okay. It was down for a second. The two versus two are losing in. it, though. It is. Lincoln pushed out of this one. He is completely out of mana. Nien flashing over the wall. Amazing play by Dave. And it's at half-life. They can actually finish this one off because Link is already backed off. You know, he's got smite, but no vision in there. Crumbs just and waddles no over from the other side of the map. They're going to get, get another one. All right. Refresh that blue on Fiddle. Amazing start here. One of the weaknesses get out of, here. of get out of here. jungle. They're going to have to mad life that sucker. Make him change targets. I don't know if they can have it. It's good lifesteal going back onto crumbs through that drain. Kiwi Kid is going oh, back. He's, they're actually he's they're getting, getting well. the micro on this damage quite well. Little bit of movement coming in. That's only going to be maybe a ward placed by Hotshot, but I think this is going to be a level one dragon. The dragon has lost its mind. It knows no Dignitas member to attack. They finally do take it out, but Cruiser... All right. Let's give them their moment here. He's kind of keeping it around there. They were kind of pushed still, out of that yeah, top lane very a hard. There, but there's a big wave here. Ooh, that's the flash and the headbutt back. But they get a good push. Kiwi Kid comes in from the backside, and this is the Requiem strategy. Trying to get the kill down, but they're able to turn it back. No, Kiwi Kid lives in this one. Crumbs gets the kill. The first blood going over it to is. him. Now Cutie Pie gets a kill, but Nian turns it back around. It's 2v1 on Nian. Will he be able to get one more kill with the ultimate going off? It's not going to be enough. The double kill for Cutie Pie. Till the very end, they are able to get another kill. And that, the kills, where they went on to Nian. So good, oh, Nian gets stand aside. One more axe to the back. He, oh my goodness. I'm a cutie pie, is so bloodthirsty. He almost wanted to get another one. Oh, we see the Mundo grab. It's not really the one you want. They back off for now. That. Prumps that, found another target. Oh my word, Aphromu, not very tanky just yet. And right. he still actually isn't building any tank. Doesn't like to go for the sight stone right away. Yeah, that's a. Uh, uh, pretty squishy Alistar, but he's he's enough to make Dignitas think twice about this dragon because it's so early in the game here. Hotshot gets caught out. Oh, he tries to throw on the ulti, but it's a little too late. He knew he was going down, so you want to get the most damage out that you can, and Nien was already in there in the miscommunication. He just came back up from being dead. Dignitas were, or uh, CLG were trying to buy time for yeah. Link to get in the area because Elise is amazing at dragon stealing. But he got a little bit too close there with Zara. Unmo uh, the lack of mobility there definitely hurting him with standing mm -hmm. on wards. Just so happens that they aren't. Oh, but they know what's happening, and if you play it beforehand, Link has to really just get his head around this one, figures out what's going on. Spider form too, just in case he had to repel. Aphromoo going quite hard. Kiwi Kid takes quite a bit of damage. Cutie Pie's there. A few more shots on a double lift. The Requiem comes down 100 HP, and it's going to be the kill. Stand aside is going to be coming up in a few seconds for him. He throws down the rush, but it's not going to be enough to get in range. Yeah, Aphromoo able to flash away, but he's still chasing. He is Cutie, actually Cutie Pie just still behind. Chasing. He's got to be very careful. Into two. Teleport coming in behind him. He's about to find a party. Three's a crowd. I don't even think Nien's going to get the assist here. And they are going to take down oh. Cutie Pie before he gets to the party. Turret going down in mid, though. Moving here from CLG. They make the first call. They're going to be able to burst it down. They have to retreat very quickly, though. Great damage. Kiwi Kid trying to put himself in good range uh -oh. for a box. Maybe that is actually down, so he won't be able to ult. Big damage onto Aphromoo. His ult is still down, and he will go down. My shot is in a very good spot. <laughs> very good spot. That's exactly what they're looking for. That big range puts Scar down to 400 HP. The Requiem is going off. Pretty much an initiation on this fight, and for good pressure on that turret. Almost combined with Cutie Pie's ultimate. That was great. That was so much damage, though. It's going to be hard for them to defend the turret any further. Crowstorm. Oh, he's got a flash in, but the damage is going to connect. Double if is forced to watch on the outside. There's no way a Vayne can run into this composition. It's being played so well by Dignitas. They're in the base in 21 minutes and shredding down inhibitors and the members of CLG. Try and get a little more penetration on these attacks from long range. Like we said, the last initiate was a good one, right onto Skara. They can do this again. It's going to oh. be big damage. Skara stays up. The Requiem just comes up as well. Skara flashes into the fight, trying to get more AoE damage. Cruiser, not really in a good spot here, but the Requiem coming down from 
from the death of Skara. And Death Defy is huge for the team. CLG is dropping. Afromu is the last member left alive. And Dignitas will get an ace with only Skara going down. The Nexus turrets in their eyes. Just beautiful of play again from Dignitas. Early lead transformed into an early game over. And they asked, would the streak continue for Dig? They are going to be able to continue it on. 50,000 to 34,000 in the end of the game. Just under 25 minutes as they waltz around the Nexus, enjoying the victory.